Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm in Illinois right now. Standing behind me is the St. Louis Arch, which is in Missouri. St. Louis Arch, very, very famous landmark. It's amazing. We're going to go over there in just a minute. But before we do, I want to try a little experiment. Right now, I'm standing exactly two meters away from the camera. Now, if I hold up this tape measure, we could measure the field of view across the base of the St. Louis Arch. That number will appear on your screen now. Now, the field of view is how big or how small things appear to you. And that deals with uh, how far away we are from things. We get further away, they appear smaller. Obviously that arch is pretty big, but it appears small because we're so far away from it. The ratio of actual distance away to actual size to this distance to this size gives us a little bit of geometry that can allow us to predict how far away it is. So I'm standing two meters. It's this far apart. Let's go measure the actual distance and see if we can't predict how far it is from Illinois to Missouri. Wow, this thing is huge. Look at this. I'm standing in front of the St. Louis Arch, well, one of the legs of the St. Louis Arch, and I'm still 200 meters away from it, and it's a monster. There's no way I can walk this distance because there's a tunnel in between. We're going to have to collect this data from somewhere else. Hi, folks. Welcome to the St. Louis Arch in Missouri, St. Louis. This is the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial. St. Louis Arch is 630 feet tall, 630 feet across. It's actually a catenary curve. They call it an arch because most people don't know what a catenary curve is. It's made out of grade 301 stainless steel. should never, ever rust. It's currently 42 years old, finished in 1965. If you take a look at it, you'll see that there are no rust stains on it. It's designed to withstand 180 mile an hour steady, straight wind all the way across. It is designed to move a little bit and it'll move 9 inches at 180 mile an hour wind, which has never occurred in the Midwest. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. All right, we set up a simple ratio. The two meters I was standing to the point two meters it appeared to be in width, and the actual distance divided by the 192 meters. Do a little algebra, solve for distance. Go plug in the numbers, do it yourself. Well, we had a lot of fun, and this was a riot. I wonder where I'll go next. There's the answer. Yeah. Was it yours?